Super bugs. The name alone sounds scary, and for good reason. They're bacteria that often can't be controlled even with multiple drugs, and that means they can be especially deadly. Each year in the United States, at least 2 million people acquire serious infections with bacteria that are resistant to one or more of the antibiotics designed to treat those infections. And at least 23,000 die as a direct result of these antibiotic-resistant infections. Everyone has bacteria in and on their bodies. After you take an antibiotic, most bad bacteria are killed off. But some bacteria might survive and evolve so that next time they encounter that drug, it might not work against them. This is the birth of an antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which now lives in your system. This resistant bacteria can then be spread by shaking hands, kissing, or even when you touch surfaces others then touch. As the bacteria circulate, they can become resistant to multiple antibiotics. Those resistant bacteria can cause an infection if the right conditions arise, such as if you get a cut or have a weakened immune system. Now, if the same or a similar antibiotic is used to treat that infection, it might not have an effect. When doctors use several different types of antibiotics and they also don't work, you've got a superbug. When antibiotics are no longer effective, your condition can worsen and your risk of dying is greatly increased. Consumers play a key role in the creation and spread of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Here are some suggestions to follow. Don't push for antibiotics. If you don't have a bacterial infection, don't insist on antibiotics. Colds and the flu are viral infections, for example, that aren't helped with antibiotics. Instead, ask about other treatments. Fight it off on your own. If bacteria are the cause and your symptoms are mild and your doctor prescribes an antibiotic, ask if you could wait a few days before you fill the prescription to see if you get better on your own. Ask for targeted drugs. Too often, a type of antibiotic called broad spectrum are prescribed. These drugs may kill many types of bacteria, which can lead to higher rates of antibiotic resistance and infections. Ask if the use of a narrow spectrum antibiotic will work. Use antibiotic creams sparingly and only if dirt remains in a wound after using soap and water. Antibiotics applied to skin can lead to resistant bacteria. Avoid infections in the first place. This means staying up to date on vaccines, washing hands thoroughly and regularly with soap and water, and avoid antibacterial hand soaps and cleaners as they too can promote resistance. For continuing in-depth coverage of antibiotic resistance and how it pertains to your life, be sure to check out consumerreports.org superbug.